All right, we have uh, Katrina Mazurik next. Thank you. Today, 43% of Canadians 20 to 29 are living with their parents. A quarter of Canadians 25 to 29 are living with their parents, a proportion that has doubled in 30 years. Journalists, academics, and mental health professionals have raised concerns about this trend, specifically in three areas. First, concerns have been raised over the well-being of families in terms of financial, interpersonal, and mental aspects. Will parents be able to retire at reasonable ages if they're providing for their adult child? What, how much strain will this arrangement put on the relationships between family members? And what toll might it take on their mental well-being? Second, concerns have been raised over the healthy development of young adults. In developmental psychology, there's a concept called separation individuation, which describes how children define boundaries between themselves and their caregivers to define their personal identities. Originally, this concept just applied to babies, but now we're seeing real concerns that young adults who don't separate themselves from their parents are going to suffer from anxiety, low self-esteem, depression, and an overall lack of autonomy. Third, concerns have been raised over our institutional and policy structures for getting youth into the work market. People are concerned that young adults today face a lack of opportunity and that this is what is delaying their transitions to adulthood. So despite these popular concerns, we don't really know that much about the experiences of families and their adult children at home. And that's where I come in. In my research, I'll be using interviews, photography, and observation to document the everyday lives of these families and to understand how they experience and evaluate the legitimacy of their living arrangement. My research obviously won't concern or won't address all the concerns that I just raised, but I think it does have some major implications. First, for seeing whether families really see their situations as problems. Second, for developing effective interventions for counselors who are working with these families. Third, for understanding how institutions are impacting the ability of young adults to carry out their life projects. And finally, for describing cultural shifts in how we define family and the life course. What I'm suggesting is that before we try to judge or resolve what may appear to be an ethical dilemma, that of the new generation of moochers and their failure to launch, we need to understand the perspectives of people themselves who have things to gain, lose, and preserve in this situation. Thank you. <laughs> 